Good evening. We are also following a developing story in Versailles, where a fire chief is accused of sending hundreds of messages and having sex with an underage girl. That hearing just wrapped up a short time ago. Lynn Hayes Freeland with the story new at six. Lynn. Susan, for the time being, the former acting fire chief in Versailles, Aaron Powell, is going to remain behind bars at the Allegheny County Jail. He faces charges of having sex with a minor and sending her explicit pictures on her cell phone. At a hearing today at the magistrate's office here in McKeesport, the prosecution began to unravel the case against Powell. Powell was arrested in November of last year when police say they happened upon him in a car parked at the McKeesport Marina having sex with a minor. According to court testimony, when police spotted the two in the car, they were in varying stages of undress and engaged in a sexual act. After that arrest, McKeesport police asked Allegheny County police to try and determine how much interaction Powell had with the underage girl. That's when police say they discovered 1,067 text messages sent to the 17-year-old girl during one week in November. Messages that included explicit photos and explicit language, pictures that included body parts and sexual acts. Powell told police he got the girl's phone number initially from his 13-year-old daughter's cell phone. I can tell you that Mr. Powell maintains that he was under the impression that the, the, uh, the accuser on the case was 18 years of age. He thought that this was a, an adult consensual uh, relationship. Mr. Powell has conveyed to me on several occasions that he thought that she was 18 um, and, and that everything that he was doing was, was legal. Now, at the end of the hearing today, Aaron Powell did ask the judge to reduce his bond. Right now, it's set at $20,000. But the judge said because he had been living in a home where minors were present, he was going to deny that request. Reporting live in McKeesport, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA TV News.